everyone welcome to research hub in this video i will show you how to do bibliometric analysis using bibliography data extracted from the dimensions database using the vast viewer software so if you have been following our videos you already know that we normally use scopus or web of science databases for bibliometric or systematic literature reviews but these two databases require institutional access and many people all over the world may not have access to these two databases in those cases you can use this dimensions database which is free to use and in the previous video i have actually shown how to extract data from dimensions database for bibliometric or systematic literature review so if you haven't had a look at that please have a look at that you will also find the link of the video below in this video description also, you have to make sure that you are using the latest version of the VOS viewer. So here you see I'm using the 1.6.16, which is from November 25. So because the earlier version of VOS viewer did not really include this dimensions database analysis. So the, only the latest versions have this option. So you have to make sure that you have it and you can download the VOS viewer from here. We also have a video on how to install VOS viewer. If you haven't had a look at that, you will find the link below in the video description. So now I have installed, I've downloaded the file for Windows and you can actually have it for Mac as well and for other systems as well. So just download, click here and download, it's free to use. So I have downloaded it, so I'm just going to run it from here. But you see we have a manual file. When you download the file, you will get these few files with the download and here you have the manual file, manual file as well. So I recommend all of you to have a look in the manual because they provide really detail of what you can do with VOSViewer and details of some of the algorithms that has been used in VOSViewer. So now I double clicked on the VOSViewer, I'm running the VOSViewer. It takes a moment for the software to initiate. So here it is when you initiate the VOSViewer, when it opens it looks like this. And we have the canvas here mainly empty. So what we will do is we will go and create a network map using bibliography data. But here you see you can also access the manual from here and also you can learn about VOSVIR from here. And I recommend all of you to have a look into the manual, okay? So now let's uh, go here and create. And here you see we have three options here. So we can create a map based on network data. We can create a map based on bibliography data. We can create a map based on text data. So for now, I'm going to use this bibliography data and I'm going to click next. And here it gives me a few options. So if I have files from databases, so here you see it, uh, we can use Web Science, Scopus, Dimensions and PubMed. Also, you can use files in RS format and not format or reference works. Also, you can actually extract data directly through APIs from these databases. Okay. So, but now I have extracted some data from the dimensions database, so which I'm going to run here in VOSViewer. So I'm going to click next and then I click here on dimensions. So you can see here that if you actually have data from any of these four databases, you can really run your data here very easily for bibliometric analysis. So now I'm going to select the data file here. So here is my data. So I'm just going to select it and click OK. Okay, and then I'm going to click next and when I click next, you see we see these options here. We have the type of anal analysis and here we have the unit of analysis. Here we have the full count uh, counting method. So we have full counting or fractional counting and here we have some more properties. So we have a video playlist on bibliometric literature review on Research Hub and there we discuss about all these metrics in detail. So if you haven't watched our videos, please have a look in the video playlist and you will also find the link of the video playlist below in this video description. And also for your information, we are also developing a course on bibliometric literature review, which will be available on our website very soon. So if you're interested to have a look on the course as well, you will also find the link of the course below in the video de description as soon as it is available. Okay, so here for now, I'm just going to use the co-citation analysis 
to give you a demonstration and here I'm going to select uh, you need to finalize the cited reference so for co-citation you can do it based on the citation of the articles in this data that I extracted for dimensions here I have 181 articles okay so here we are going to do co-citation analysis based on all the articles that are cited by these 181 articles okay you can also do it for journals you can also do it for authors but now we are going for references here you can also see about the counting method full counting on fractional counting if i hover my mouse here over the question symbol then you see the details here so it simply means that whether it is going to count one article for all the co-authors or whether it is going to count fractional for multiple co-authors article so if there are three co-authors in one article it will count as one third for each of them instead of counting three papers for three of them okay so let's say we go with full counting for now it's okay and here I am going to click next here you see we have 600 and 190 cited references okay so and four meets the threshold uh, the threshold is here and you can set the threshold okay so here we're saying minimum number of citations of a cited reference so here the threshold 20 is really high because it's an emerging topic the database here it's a kind of an emerging topic it's about uh, circular economy so I'm just going to reduce it to let's say I'm going to make it yeah four okay when I make it four then I see 105 article meets this threshold and then I'm going to click next so we will do analysis of references of uh, 105 articles how they are co-cited and the threshold was four for selecting these 105 articles and I'm just going to click next okay so here you can also reduce the number of articles but uh, I'm going to move here so here you see we have the articles and here we have the number of citations of each of the articles and here we have the total link strength so here the link strength refers to the co-citation strength okay so I'm going to click finish and here is my figure looks very nice it looks like we have about four clusters green one then we have a blue one then we have a yellow one in the back and then we have a red one here if I hover my mouse over one of the nodes or articles so you will see below we can actually see details about this for example I see that it, uh, this article is from 2016 published in Journal of Cleaner Production it belongs to cluster one it has 95 links it has total link strength of 285 and it has 24 citations right similarly if you move over to another one you can also see details of this uh, article right so that's pretty cool but here if you want to see the list of articles on the different clusters so then you have to come here on items here you see this checkbox is ticked group items by cluster so if you don't have it ticked then click here tick it and then you will see that items are clustered uh, items are listed based on their clusters. so here we see in cluster one we have 33 articles and here is the list cluster two we have 30 30 articles and here is the list and cluster 3 we have 29 and cluster 4 we have 13 okay so this is the list of uh, clusters so normally what I do when I write a paper I make a table uh, of the articles in each of the clusters so I present this figure and then I make a table so for example here we have four clusters so I will have four columns for four clusters and then I will present 10 most cited article from each of the clusters in the table and then below the figure and above the table I will maybe discuss uh, these 10 articles in detail and often this table of the articles I often also present it in the appendix I put the figure in the main paper and discuss them and I refer to the appendix for the 10 most cited articles for each of the clusters so here you can actually have a look into some of my papers you will find some of the links below in the video description so you can look into those and see how we present these clusters okay so now let's move to analysis so here you see that we have 
this normalization uh, method uh, here we are using association strength actually this is the most widely applied normalization method and here we also have fractionalization here we also have modularity so you can play with them you can change them and run it and see if the results changes too much or sometimes it may happen the initial cluster that you get doesn't look really nice so then you change the normalization method and you try to see if it gives a better and meaningful result so if you want to do that normally what you will do is for example if i select this one modularity here and i click on update layout okay so you see it changes a little bit okay also here you see for the layout we have some default values okay you can learn about them here and you can actually untick and you can also change the parameters here so for changing the parameters you have to look into detail into the manual of the voss viewer and there you will find guidelines on how it works so i'm just clicking with the, i'm just going with the default one and also you can play with advanced parameters here you can try to change these parameters and see if uh, how your results change especially these are especially useful when the initial graph that you get is not very meaningful okay and then in the clustering here we have the resolution minimum cluster size so here you can actually set the number of minimum articles on a cluster so let's say if i make it 10 okay let's say if i make it 15 and then i update clustering so you will see that we have now three clusters because we had one of the clusters we had like 13 articles and that cluster is now gone so we will have uh, now three clusters and also here we have some advanced parameters to play with so have a look on them here we have some visualization tools like rotating the figures flipping them okay so these are sometimes useful uh, to make the figure look nicer here you can zoom in and here you can zoom out and here you see we have some scale for visualization right so here you can actually uh, increase the scale of the visualizations and here the weights are based on citations you can also change the weights to total link or you can also change it to links okay so the difference between links and citations is that citations refers to the how many citation an article got and links refers to connections both how many it cited and how many was cited by it so both ways of connections and the link strands here comes from the co-citation uh, analysis calculations i have some videos on that as well but you may not find it publicly available it's part of our course so when the course is out there on our website have a look there so you will see how this uh, co-citation algorithms are calculated okay and here for the labels also we have this scale okay we can make it smaller and bigger you have circles and frames so frames looks like this i don't really like it i like the circle one better and here also you can change the length okay so let's say if you reduce the land you see these names are becoming smaller okay and here you can also change the font so you can go for the one that you like the most okay so it's up to you which one you like the most and also for the lines we have the size variations okay and also for the lines we have colored lines or non-colored lines i like the colored one better and also we can have straight line or curved lines actually both looks pretty cool i think right and for the cluster colors you can actually change the colors so for example let's say for the for this red one i can change it to yellow so i changed it to yellow so it's simple so you can play with different colors okay you can also have a black background looks cool don't put a figure with a black black background in your paper you can put it in presentations and conference presentations but don't do it in the paper in the paper always use the white background so that's mainly it here in the network visualization and you can also see we have a tab called density visualization so if you click here actually it provides the same information the where we have a deeper color those places means that they have been co-cited more 
Okay, so it's the same figure, but in different format. But I actually like this one better. So I will present this one if I am to present in a paper. And never put these two figures together in the same paper because they provide the same information. We don't need to present both of them. Okay, only one is good enough. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. And if so, feel free to share with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to Research Hub. And don't forget to check out our Bibliometric Literature Review course on our website. Thank you.